Big news coming out of the SWAC tonight on a Monday evening and specifically from Grambling State University. The Tigers have relieved Broderick Fobbs of his head coaching duties of its football program. Now, Fobbs was a running back there at Grambling State University. He played for the legendary Eddie Robinson. He took over after the 2013 season, and it was the season that was the lowest point ever for Grambling football. You may remember the walkouts. The players were very upset about the conditions uh, that they had to train and work out in. They forfeited their homecoming game to Jackson State. They finished that year a school worst 1-11. Fobbs comes in, and if you count the spring season, and this season is pretty much done, eight seasons, he finished with a 54-32 and 32 record, went to the Celebration Bowl twice, won it once. He was three times named the SWAC Coach of the Year, but the last four seasons, uh, again, counting the spring as one of those seasons, things have not been trending upward for Grambling State. They finished 0-4 in the spring. There was a lot of turmoil there. Uh, you can read about that at hbcugameday.com. And this season, through 10 games, Grambling suffering at 3-7. and seven. So Athletic Director Travion Scott from Grambling State University issued the following statement today. And it reads, quote, Earlier today, I informed head coach Broderick Fobbs of my decision to make a change in leadership of our football program. Broderick Fobbs is one of the finest human beings I have had the pleasure to meet in this industry, and he has been a tremendous role model and mentor to our young men. We appreciate his many years of service to our university and wish both him and his family nothing but the best. Consistent with our values as an institution, he deserves the utmost respect from the Grambling State University Tiger family throughout this transition. So being named as the interim coach now, is linebackers coach and special teams coach Terrence Graves. Now, a little side note there, uh, Terrence Graves started Winston-Salem State University as a football player. He was a classmate of mine. He is a fan favorite. Not that the fans make decisions, but he is a fan favorite to take over at Winston-Salem State. That position currently held by Robert Massey in an interim role. Terrence Graves' name has been thrown out there a lot. <laughs> so... Who knows where that will go, but he des definitely right now has the uh, leverage, <laughs> I would say, maybe in, in a couple different situations here. Anytime you're desired, that's a good thing. But the story tonight is about Broderick Fobbs. He was relieved of his duties as head coach at Grambling State University. I found Broderick Fobbs to be a, a great man to work with. I often called him uh, the coach who, the most thoughtful coach in the SWAC. Anytime he answered a question, he really seemed to take his time to think about his words and, and choose them carefully. And if he had no interest in answering the question, he made that very abundantly clear as well. So we definitely wish Coach Fobbs the best. But right now, Terrence Graves taking over as the interim head coach. The timing of this, I can understand maybe if you try to put yourself in the shoes of Grambling State University, if, if they decided they wanted to make a change, it would have been a lot harder <laughs> at Grambling or if Grambling were to win that big game against Southern University, the Bayou Classing, and then you decide that you're going to relieve uh, the coach of his duties. That would have been a little tougher sell. But right now on a bye week and then the week going into the Bayou Classic, uh, that gives Coach Graves two weeks to kind of get ready for things there. And the university decided that ultimately this was the best time to make the move if they were going to make it. Now, uh, Coach Fobbs did appear in front of the media this morning for the weekly SWAC media call. And apparently he wasn't aware that this was going to happen. He may have had a feeling, but he did address the media uh, still in the role of head coach earlier on Monday before his firing. If you could please open us up with a statement about your team's most recent outing versus Bethune Cookman. Well, I'll tell you, very, very tough. You know, um, I thought, you know, they did a much better job, you know, uh, coaching staff wise, preparing and and um, and having their guys ready to play. You know, um, I take full responsibility for us not being ready to play, but they also played a really good uh, football game and did a really good job and came in here and got after us pretty good. So uh, my hat's off to them, you know, but um, we have to get better and get better in a hurry. So Coach Fobbs, now the former head coach at Grambling State University, a place where he played under Eddie Robinson. He was a running back 
in his days as a player back in the 1990s and now the second coach to be fired this year in the SWAC following Donald Hill Ely at Alabama State University. So a big soap opera, a lot of drama. Uh, we knew this year of SWAC football would be exciting. We've seen a little bit of everything uh, and the season is still not over. But the news today, Broderick Fobbs out as head coach at Grambling State University. We'll have more as this story develops and what's next for Grambling. Just stay with us at HBCU Game Day and HBCUGameDay.com.